I've been waiting for this day for what feels like months. This here is my Spondias Mombin or my Yellow Hot Plum. I'm also going to get the red variety this month, but I'm very excited to transplant this one into a 25 gallon pot. Currently, it's in this really small pot and it's been in my grow tent over the winter. The nursery I bought it from recommended to keep it indoors until our last frost passed by and the night temps were above 40 degrees. And that day is now. It's actually been outside for the past, I would say, week and it looks beautiful. Actually, when it was still inside the grow tent, it tried flowering several times and finally it started pushing out some new leaves. I didn't allow it to flower because it's still in this really small pot and I wanted to make sure that it established good roots before flowering but I can't wait to try the fruit. This is the ciruela that I used to make my mom's sauce. Anywho, let's move on. <laughs> it's really heavy. And actually, when I was bringing it out here, I fell and tripped with the entire tree. It was pretty horrible. So the pot is a little bent on one side, but I'm pretty sure I can still reuse it. So I'm gonna start off by removing all of this mulch. And this pot has been ready to go. I actually prepped it a while back because I wanted to reserve the spot for this tree. So I don't have to do much at all other than backfilling a bit more. And the soil is really nice, loose, and fluffy. It's already set up on irrigation, so I don't really have to water it in. It's just ready to go. This is so nice. It's really easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually add a couple of worm castings in there. Just like that. And then I'm going to add some mycorrhizae. Mostly I like to add this wherever I'm going to place my tree. Like right there. I'm going to take the tree out now just to check the level to see if I need to add any more soil before transplanting it. And it should have some really good roots going on. Okay, so some of that soil fell off, which is fine. Most of the roots are still intact. And I'm actually going to take a bit more of the soil off because it was also buried kind of deep. This is what I want to go straight up. So I'm actually going to tilt this tree a bit like this, which might look a little bit funny, but I want to make sure that this portion is nice and straight. And right here is fine. That's where I can start to see the root flare. This tree is buried about this much deeper. I feel like that's one of my biggest pet peeves is why they bury it so deep. That looks a lot better. I'm gonna go in and add some more mycorrhizae. Right here. And I'm trying to position the tree right now to where I'll be happy with, with how it's standing. I'm still going to train it a bit, but I want it to be ready to go. Because so much soil fell out, I'm going to add some more worm castings. All along right here. This tree was definitely grafted as you can see here. But in the next year, I hope to take some cuttings from it and propagate those. Because I know my tias would really, really love one of these trees. They talk about it all the time, that salsa de ciruela that they grew up eating. So I can't wait to propagate some of it and be able to give them some. So now I'm going to start to backfill. Right now it's going to look funny and it's going to continue to look like that until the tree actually thickens up. Oh, Because we have this really thick kind of stump of a rootstock and then this really thin scion. Over time this is going to thicken up but in the meantime it's going to look a little bit funny. Oh. You guys, seriously. I don't know how many times a day I'm walking by and then they just zoom right in front of me. <laughs> but I love them. They're still adorable. Is it mischievous or mischief mischievous? They're very mischievous. This looks pretty good. It's now nice and even. I know it's hard to look past this stump, <laughs> but over time, it'll definitely even out. And you can see all these rough cuts that were made. So now it's planted at the correct depth. So I'm gonna add my mulch back on. One thing that I personally really like to do is if I've mounted a tree like I have right here, to be able to add mulch without it falling off, I like to add like a little fence around it. I'm using them right now, but should I go grab them? I'm going to be using these little fence pickets. I'm not sure where you can purchase them because we got these from my brother-in-law. 
there we go. And how I can add my mulch without the worry of it falling all over the place. And the reason I'm adding more mulch to this tree in particular is because the nursery said it was a bit more frost sensitive. So I wanna make sure that I keep it insulated from the cold as it settles down, especially since the roots were disturbed. And I think that looks pretty good. Oh, I'm also going to add my irrigation line back in. My irrigation is set to go off every four days, so I'm actually going to water it in right now, and then it'll get watered the next time it irrigates the rest of the trees. At this point, I'm going to add some stakes, and the tree itself is actually doing really good. It's got some sturdiness to it. I just wanna straighten it out a little bit more by pulling it this way, and then adding a little bit more tension on this side as well, just to help it grow nice and straight. And hopefully, it'll soon start branching out and it'll fill out. So, take my garden tape and I measure out about how long I want it to be, giving myself a little bit of extra room to work with. Cool. And then I'm going to wrap it around the trunk and I'm going to twist it just so that it doesn't slide up and down. And I'm only twisting it loosely, that way the trunk can still grow and widen. So I think right there is good. there you have it that's what the tree looks like right now i can't wait to see it fill out i'm not going to cut it back at this time just because it's still a little bit cold once it warms up i'll go ahead and prune it back and then i'll try and propagate those cuttings oops i almost forgot to water it in 